putting on, you know. And he done it between these two bands, you know, because draw a big crowd. Well, he did have a big crowd, boy. That thing packed was full. packed full. So uh, they laminated them all down. Me and Guy Blackman out of Cincinnati. That was one of Clayton's brother-in-law's uh, uh, buddies. See? Played with uh, Bert Lane. Brought him up there to beat me. Well, of course, them old applause meters, you know what they'll do. They're, they're the one that gets the biggest applause, of course, you know. He's the winner. He's first. Well, he's laminated down to two of us at the beginning. That made either one of us that first and second, you know. One, either one. Well, that applause meter, now, who ever heard of anything like this? I never heard of it before in my life, so... Did they have one? You, yes, they had an applause meter in that thing. And, uh, 
by people to Paul's, it was the same. And he done it again. Same. Both of them done 100%, I guess. Both of us, 100% on that applause meter. And they just kept that away and kept that away and they wore the people out. And always neck and neck, 100%, both of us. They, they says, well, we, we, we know how to do that now. We'll pull these curtains down and we'll number these on the outside one and two and not let none of them see who's one and who's two. Well, I was the first one played. I played, uh, no, it fell on him. He had to play the same tune. Yeah, the same tune. They got us down to Fisher's Hornpipe. He thought it. He played it in B-flat. He thought he had me something then, and I couldn't do that, you know. I just followed him right on in B-flat and played it like he did. <laughs> so, so, my own brothers and my own company from Madison County voted against me. <laughs> <laughs> and I still beat <laughs> track one morning he, he found a dollar bill and he went over to Lehman Sexton's 
and told him, you know, Raymond, come to our house and play. My dad had him come there and play maybe two or three nights a week, you know, when he could. Sometimes they wouldn't come. And he said, well, he said, I've come buy me a fiddle now. I said, I got the money. And he said, how much you got for it? He said, I got a dollar. <laughs> and he laughed at him, you know, and he said, well, I got, yes, you bought you a fiddle.
about everyone, uh, you know, played their own music back when I was growing up. And we didn't have radios and TVs and so on for entertainment. We had to make our own. And uh, that was where that I learned all these old songs, you know. What uh, didn't learn from my own families or uncles, aunts, or something like that, some neighbor or somebody would come in from some other stage or something. And uh, then I was awful to go to these dances and... Uh, and parties and all, and here's somebody play us a tune that I like, and if it was a song, why then I'd ask them to write me the ballad of it, which they always did. And uh, now people are scared to death that a song or an old tune will get away from them, you know. And they don't belong to us, they belong to everybody, don't they? Now don't you think it that way?
good child. Take your boat to the shore. I've a hundred dollar bill and I've got no change. Oh, don't you want to go? Walk about on Sunday, boys. What pleasure do I see when I've got a woman in New Orleans and she won't write to me? Roused about my barefooted bum, take your boat to the shore. There's a hundred pretty women on the other side. Oh, don't you want to go? All right, boys, let's go fox hunting. Ride your car with your doggy. Here, Lee, here, Ring, here, Sam, here, Joe, here, Lou. <laughs>
my sovereign mind. Could he devote that sacred head for such a work as I? Wonderful love for a sinner like me. Jesus who suffered and died on the tree. How would he love such a sinner like me? It's wonderful how good it be. Was it for crimes that I have done? He groaned upon the tree. Amazing pity, grace unknown, and love beyond degree. Wonderful love for a sinner like me. Jesus who suffered and died on the tree. How could he love such a sinner like me? It's wonderful, how could it be? The drops of grief can never repay the debt of love I owe. Dear Lord, I give myself away, tis all that I can do. Wonderful love of a sinner like me, Jesus who suffered and died on the tree. How could he love such a sinner like me? It's wonderful how it could be.